She was um, walking along beside Dennis and trotting along and she said, Dad, people shouldn't laugh at you because you've got one leg shorter than the other. <laughs> and Dad said, no, Kate, they shouldn't. And she said, you can't help it because one leg was born before the other. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that. That was sweet. <laughs> and she used to embarrass me terribly. One day, we were in the supermarket and there's a lady in front of us and 
she had these really long whiskers on her chin. <laughs> <laughs> and came sitting up in the top of the trolley basket and she said, Lady! I was like, oh no! <laughs> I was in the middle of a queue and I couldn't get out. <laughs> Lady! <laughs> And she said, what are those things sticking out of your cheek? <laughs> 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 and another day, she was fiddling around, standing on Dennis's knee, and she said, Dad, you're getting a boiled head. <laughs> <laughs> A jerry pot to collect the eggs in. <laughs> <laughs> and a few of the funny little things were um, whenever she fell over and scum and knees, she had to cover it and she'd be walking around like this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> There's a photo of that. And uh, what else have I got? She used to love her pet lizards. She used to She used to dress it up in dolls' clothes and one day came walking down the passage with foot spray football clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> Another time he used to get around with a Barbie doll's hat on, he used to walk around with his head like this. <laughs> <laughs> Barbie doll's hat on. And another thing she came up with one morning was, she came out and she said, you know, some people say it's sleep in your eyes, but I think it's squashed mosquitoes. <laughs> 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 and the best one is Vic and Wayne's wedding. Oh, no. <laughs> she was standing up on the seats all through the wedding saying, Hello, Mrs. Sansa. Hello, Mrs. Sansa. Hello, Mrs. Sansa. Well, while well, everyone was coming. And then as soon as Vicky walked in, are they married yet? And Mum would go, Shh. Are they married yet? Are they married yet? Shh. Finally, they got married. And anyway, said, are they married yet? And Mum said, Yes, they're married. Where's the baby? <laughs> <coughs> Actually, I have to say that the lizard, I'd forgotten all about that. <laughs> Kate had this little lizard and, and it escaped. It was the second one. And I was out the back, no one the grass out the back. I pulled the bar back, but there was what was left of this lizard. <laughs> girls to stop screaming for ages and the next thing Kate just gets up out of her sleeping bag running across the whole camp in front of everyone forgetting that she only had on a bright green jocks and a t-shirt <laughs> screaming at these possums <laughs> um, and they went away though <laughs> um, another thing with her temper I've learned Kate has an extreme disliking for rock climbing which we tried on that camp as well and hanging about 10 metres off the ground she's swearing at our maths teacher with every expletive you can imagine crying I can't put my foot anywhere and she's swearing at him he wasn't very impressed about 
that. <laughs> um, getting in and out of trouble, Kate's always... We had another girlfriend that we used to play with at high school, Jacqueline, and when in doubt, blame it on Jack. <laughs> it was always if we were caught wagging or drinking or anything like that, it was Jack's fault, and that sort of worked for a long time. I don't know what Jane thought, but it always seemed to work. Um, one day we were wagging and um, my dad used to go to uni every Wednesday in Melbourne and I used to take that day off and stay at home and Kate would come around and watch videos and my boyfriend at the time. Anyway, this one day we wagged school and Jane had found out the school yeah, rang up yeah. Jane and she oh. <laughs> So Jane rang my dad and the two of them spent the entire day searching around Ballarat for us. And we were at the one place they didn't look, which was at the pool. <laughs> Kate got out of that one by saying that I was very distraught and was going to run away and she needed to console me. <laughs> and Jane said to her, but you took your swimming stuff this morning, you knew you were going to do this. And she said, no mum, we had swimming for PE today. <laughs> so she didn't get in trouble for that either. <laughs> Maybe it should be retrospective. Shane used to ring up for us on occasion and say, This is Mr. Ferguson. <laughs> 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 sneak out of a night time to meet boys and roam around and um, one night we were out at my boyfriend's at the time who lived sort of out at Delacombe Heights just near where Jane was living at the time and it was about two in the morning and we actually were staying at Jacqueline's and the cat had got out and the cat's meowing at the door so his dad came into the bedroom to tell Jack to go and let the cat in but there's no Jack, Kate or Sam and there's no one there so we were out there watching videos and this car pulls up and I was half asleep and Kate's sort of sitting there all just watching telly. Oh my god, it's mum! <laughs> She's nearly crying with my shaking on oh no. <laughs> Kate got in a lot of trouble that night. She couldn't get out of that. <laughs> Actually, I took my way partly out of that. <laughs> <laughs> I weren't very happy about that. In school, she's never very popular with teachers at school. I remember at one stage with it, we had a, a diary that we had to get signed every week about her homework. And when Kate went through a stage, she was so bad, she had to get it signed daily and show her report <laughs> to the teacher every day. Every morning. Um, Kate's fears, you know, she's got a big fear of spiders and sharks. But there was one time that we were down the beach with Jacqueline. <laughs> And there were some men coming along the road and we weren't meant to be there, we were meant to be asleep in our caravan. So we ran, oh my god, these people are coming after us. We ran down to the beach and we saw this thing lying in the water. And Jacqueline went over to see what it was and she goes, it's a log. And Kate goes, it's alive! And she just starts running and left us both standing there, so I run as well. <laughs> Not that we were in danger or anything, but she didn't care. <laughs> I told you I've been doing before that. <laughs> um, relationships. I'll just mention one funny one. Kate went out with the boy for one day and she broke up with him after one day, not even a whole day, because he went duck shooting. At that time, Kate was very environmentally friendly and she didn't appreciate that at all. Um, travel. I've been with Kate. We went to the beach for New Year's Eve one year and the car started making this funny noise and we were in the middle of nowhere. It was just paddocks, not even a tree could be seen. It was about 30 degrees. The tyre had gone flat. Oh, that's all right, Kate. Do you know how to change a flat tyre? Yes, but I don't have a spare one. <laughs> We'd gone on a trip down to the beach with no spare tyre and I could have killed her. Yeah, you and she we've been telling Kate for <laughs> weeks to get it. For hours we had to that. sit there in this car in the heat one. waiting for RACB and then it was <laughs> the tow truck man from hell. Oh. <laughs> we just talked and talked and, and I had to sit next to him. I wouldn't get in the car. <laughs> I said you have to sit next to him. Um, Port Campbell we used to go with Kate's family and that, that had some funny times. I remember Kate kissed this boy up on the hill and her mum was coming and I couldn't tell her. <laughs> oh no, and they were just sitting there and Jane sort of said, oh, hello. <laughs> 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 oh, no, it took you to And another night down there, we'd been drinking and um, Jane come to get us. She said, you know, girls, oh, I want to go to get us. <laughs> it's quite, quite late. I think you should come back to bed now. Oh, okay. 
Mum, we better just walk this boy home because I think he's a bit drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole time I'm walking into his caravan and we're walking a straight line. Because <laughs> James standing there watching him and <laughs> just go to bed. Um, used to travel to Corowa with Kate. We'd go and stay with her grandma and it was sort of an experience for me because we'd sort of been out in the sun all day and whatever, tired and about eight in the morning we hear this <laughs> and this organ playing started at like seven in the morning, eight in the morning. Oh my god, what's that noise? So Kate's grandma was obviously an earlier riser than we were. <laughs> Um, Kate's fashion's always left a bit to be desired, hasn't it? <laughs> I have good taste, thank you, Pa. The spike was always a, a memorable point, I think. And she had the spike and the rest was long and then she's growing it out and she sort of glue it up into the side like this. And then these big plastic framed red glasses that are going underneath it. And, um, we went to a school social. We had, it was one of our first socials with, with St Paul's, which was the boys' school that sort of was near us. And Kate bought this really nice red velvet dress, really nice dress, and she wanted to wear her army boots with it. And Jane wouldn't let her, so she wore jeans too. So it was this nice red dress and these big baggy jeans and army boots underneath it. So Kate's had some funny times, and she's always been a bit of a dag, but I think that's what we know about Kate best, is that she's always been a dag, and it's been cool, I not know what you're saying. As I said, I've known her for a long time, and I love her a lot. And she's always been a really good friend, um, through some really bad times, and Kate's had some really bad times, and we've always been there together. Even when we've argued and stuff, we always pull through. <laughs> Um, yeah, really like to thank Jane and Jerry and Dennis and Denise for putting together tonight. It's been a good night and it's good to see everyone made a good effort with the costumes and people are having fun. And um, wish Kate all the best for the future and hope that everything goes to what she plans and everything that she wants with Daniel and her career and everything and hope that it all goes well. And I love you lots. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mum and Jerry for cleaning out all here and Dad for wearing his jumps. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Shane, I'm sure you're guarding the beer very well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the purpose of the night was Shane was Britannian garter of the beer. <laughs> no one was actually supposed to be drinking the vodka, the, the, the BB that was actually in the fridge, because that's Shane's fridge. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much everybody for coming. I really appreciate it. I've enjoyed myself. I don't know about anyone else, but I've had a great time. Um, thank you for all the gifts and everything else that everyone's bought, and I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'd, um, I'd like to do this, but um, I would really like to thank them very much for all they've done. Thank you. Yeah. Light the candles. Yeah. Light the candles. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we actually forgot to soak the ribbon in central. Okay, And also, everybody, the first time we've seen happy birthday, we've got two to sing because Jessica Jane, Bibi, the little girl over there, it's her birthday today too. So.
Okay. Yeah, you must say that. It's a dancing stick bag. Oh. 